So I want to talk to you guys out here because I've been doing a lot of work out here the past month or so. This is like the end of the day, but it's a little bit cloudy. I wanted to put this segment in here just to give you guys an overview of what's going on. We're not doing like the rest of the garden bed yet. This isn't part two, the mosquito netting. Half the reason I wanted to be out here or talk to you guys today out here was this yard has a lot of memories for me and I've been working on it since I was very young. My dad had me out here and after he left I continued to work on it and maintain it until the Eddie era and we'll talk about that later. That's 23 years old, about to be 24 and I've maintained this garden every year by myself pretty much for since I was 12. So you're gonna see a bunch of piles of stuff that we've been weeding out. But right now I think I'm gonna take you just to see uh, some of the garden beds that we have prepped and some of the things we already been planting that I haven't shown yet. So let's go. Just to go and do a little bit of detail. We got sweet mint, peppermint, chocolate mint, and spearmint. Four kinds of mint in that box there. Then we have lemon thyme and oregano. This is some periwinkle. Somebody, we took this, we just took like couple like sprigs of this stuff from somebody's house and uh, we've been letting it grow right there going into the backyard so you may not know we did this fence two years ago when we got the dog here's what we planted in the garden bed I didn't show this in the video, the first part of making this, but uh, I just put the other two sides on the same way I put the front and back sides on. And they're built the exact same way. They're just shorter. And then these, will act, these corner pieces will act as like the framework for the mosquito netting system. There'll be a door in the front that lifts up so you can reach in there, do whatever you gotta do. But here we got three jalapeno plants in the back. Over here we got sweet baby bell. Then we got sweet potatoes. And sweet Georgia onions. And we got candied onions here. And then sweet Georgia onions over here. But over here we got some dill and basil. And we got our cactuses that we <coughs> they've been like they, we put them outside and they like grew a lot and then over the winter they kind of got all strung out. They didn't like the change in lighting. And now they're kind of trying to get used to the the sun again. This guy got burnt. You see that white here, this guy's got burnt. Oh, you can see this guy's browning. He didn't like the all that extra sun. These, this guy's just like strung out. We're gonna transplant all these guys into their own new pots. And uh, there's a little baby cactus. We had a this this little cactus in here. So there's this little cactus in here, and it had a flower on top, but the flower died. See, and uh, but this guy's a little baby, so we're gonna pop him off. And uh, yep, I think we can get rid of the the mama plant. See how how d good baby does. This pot here is a what is this? A dranger? I forget. Maybe it is a hydrangea. Yeah, it's a hydrangea. This is like a low light 
like mostly shade kind of plant. You can it can have some direct sun. They'll get they grow decent, especially if they're if they live that spot for a while. They're used to it. I need a selfie stick. This is so fucking. Excuse my language. Like these all these bushes. These bushes, they gotta go. I mean not the bushes, but like the massive overgrowth of vines and weeds. This whole tree, this mulberry tree, this this tree. I'm taking it down this year. Alright, so I don't know if I'm covering up the mic, but yeah, we just have onboard microphones. Birds, cars driving by, yeah, you're gonna hear it all. The deck, I wanna redo this with like, like recycled composite decking. Cause it's just wood and we like use that, like that like concrete paint, paint with grit in it to, cover it the last two years but it just keeps peeling off here where it's missing paint there's like a square there's a square that was a hot tub we just took that out that was had to cut it into three pieces with a sawzall and still took like two people to carry each piece I broke it up and threw it off the deck by myself and then we just got mint I just did this bed Behind me, this is the rose bed. We're gonna get this yard taken care of. Yeah, this is the rose bed. There's a pond here. We just got it emptied and flipped over for the winter. I think there's something living under it. We can check it out. I don't know. Hello? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. I heard something. Keep walking around the house. Got this garden bed behind the car. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, this one right here. And then we have the driveway and this garden bed all along here. And then above it, we just got weeds and ivy. Now we're gonna go back into the side yard. This is the shed. I recently redid the doors on here. Just barn door style. And some exterior oil base paint on the outside. It's already got like flashing and stuff on the door jam. I just replaced the doors because they were like particle board. This is one of the man caves, the garage cave. You may recognize that from the garage clean out. I'm getting a job here real quick, real soon, because Liam's turning a year old. So the agreement I had with my wife was that we're after he turns a year old, I would start looking for a job and we'd find daycare for him. So once he's in daycare, then I can start working again. And uh, but before that happens, I want to get this yard taken care of because this is my mom's house. You know, we gotta we gotta take care of all this magnificent beauty of a pain in the butt thing to do all the time. But you love your family and you take care of your family. And when your family needs something done, especially when they always help you out, you gotta help them out. All back there. There's actually a boat back there. If you believe it, I could show you real quick. We're gonna go back there. Back here, it's a big mess. But that's a boat, a long boat. It's like 12 foot. And there's a ladder hanging back here. But last year I cut all this back and it's all grown, overgrown again. It's kind of like the junkyard. There's like old scooters and tires back here. <laughs> this is, we had a huge pile of wood that we sp Okay, so we're back again. Ran out of battery. 
as expected. So we were kind of over here before, but this is the compost pile. We got, it's been around for like 10 years, but we've been using it, so. Let's go back here to the junkyard. That's what I call it. But I don't want to step too far back in there because I ain't wearing work clothes anymore. It's just full of crap. We need to weed out all back there. Yeah, that thing is right in that bark. Right in the bark. God damn it, ice cream man. Trying to show this 4x4 stuck in my tree. Yeah, so, I don't know how well this is focused. That's not bad. So, the tree house is like, from when I was eight, so it's like, really old. <laughs> I don't know how to do math. So it's, it's coming down, one way or another. But we also have, we're gonna repaint this deck. I gotta seal up some windows. I gotta do a lot of stuff around here. So you might not see a lot of me. And I apologize. But what are you gonna do? I mean. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help out a lot. Until next time, peace out.